Okay, so today we're going to be making area type. And we're going to do it in objects. So to begin with, we're going to make two objects. First of all, an ellipse, circle. There we go. And I'm going to change to the outline view on this because if you notice, I don't have a fill or a stroke um, color, okay? And in order to see what I'm doing, I have to be in the outline view. So next we're going to put down a rectangle or a square, and I'm holding down my shift key to do this. Okay. And I'm going to select both the circle and the rectangle because I'm going to put type in both of these and I want the type to thread from the circle to the rectangle. So the first thing I do to do this is go to type, threaded text, create. And you see a line comes between these two objects to show that they are threaded. Okay, now I'll de deselect here. I see I've got a little point there I'm going to delete. Okay, so I'm going to place some text called lorem. And lorem is just some Greek text that um, is just placement text so that you get a sense of the color of something for layout purposes. Now, I'm going to click on here, make sure that it's not linked, and I'm going to place. Now, the type that I have here is set uh, in a word processor, and it is saved as an RTF file. That would be a rich, rich text file. And what's good about a re rich text file is it can be used in any program. And it's a good idea to have somebody else do your uh, typesetting because then you don't have to worry about proofing and other things like that. All you have to do is worry about your design work. So we're going to take that and um, going to the area type tool here. Um, I'm going to copy this. Oops, I kind of moved this into the wrong place. I'll copy this. Oh, wrong thing. Okay. <clears throat> I'll go to edit and copy or control C. And then I'm going to bring out my type tool. Go to the area type tool here. And remember when we went through the um, type on a path that the little eye beam in between is the area that we want to put the type on. So I'm going to begin by selecting this. And I do have my type there. And you see I've got my little type icon, and I'm going to click here. Oops. There we go. So I click there, and I'll make uh, do a control V, and you see my type threads right into these two objects. If I change to the preview view, you can see how that works. Now, I can change the um, alignment on here, the justification, and I'm going to do a full justification so you can see how it looks. Now, of course, you know, with big spaces like this, this would be unacceptable. But you get some idea. And when you see a little cross here, 
at the end, you know you have more type. So that's how you thread type um, and use the area type tool. That's it. Next one we'll do is going to be a, a drop cap. Bye.